Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'd like to review for you a limited series I just watched called Defending Jacob. This one was provided to me for review by Paramount Home Entertainment. If you do get a chance to check it out, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I will include more information, including affiliate links, down in the description. So this is, as I said, a limited series. I want to say it was seven episodes, almost a seven hour runtime, six hours and 43 minutes on this one. And it stars Chris Evans as the town he lives in's assistant district attorney. Um, and he's also the father of Jacob. Now, this show is presented in, in a way to where it makes it confusing a little bit to know exactly what's going on as it does bounce around in time. You see uh, Chris Evans' character in an indictment and he goes back and he's telling the story about how there was a murder of, I think it was like a 14-year-old uh, school student in their town and how he was uh, involved in the investigation and then it comes up the fact that his son is the prime suspect and so he kind of gets taken off the case but it always kind of taints the case that he had worked on it um, even though his son became a suspect but he didn't work on it when he was a suspect and then uh, his son gets arrested and it goes to trial and they kind of try to mislead you back and forth on whether or not the son was involved if he's the murderer or not and I, I feel like they just keep doing that and it's real hard for the audience to determine whether or not he is the actual killer. Even in the end, I feel like they don't really say for sure uh, what happened, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, you want a conclusion. And to me, it, it lowers the overall quality a little bit because if you're leaving it up to the viewer to decide, they, they don't have enough evidence. They don't know for sure. So they go through the whole kind of, he's trying to prove that his son isn't, he's not his lawyer, but he's trying to, you know, find the information because the cops are just determined to pin it on him or the, the, the new DA or whatever is determined to pin it on him. And so, uh, there, his dad's kind of like the only one working for him, uh, to try to prove his innocence. And then they go through the trial and then kind of, uh, after the trial. Now, I thought this was really interesting. Like, I really enjoyed it. They did kind of stretch it out a little bit, I feel like, to make that seven-hour mark, but I don't feel like it ever gets boring. It is definitely very interesting, and there's lots of twists and turns, and that last episode is kind of an emotional roller coaster. All the stuff that happens in that final episode, it's crazy, uh, but I feel like I said, in the end, they don't really give you enough information. They don't definitively say um, who the killer was for sure, and so it, it's kind of a little a little disappointing in that way to me other than that though i really enjoyed it i thought it was a great series uh, i give this one a four out of five hope you guys did enjoy the video if you haven't already subscribed for more videos check the videos and i'll see you guys next time